Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Going Medieval. In the last episode, we're trying to get the chamber to work, uh, the Grand Hall. We got both of the religious buildings up with their respective bonuses. This one's completed, this one still needs work. We got awesome, fancy beds, uh, just enormous amount of work done. And we're kind of, yeah, just getting all the wood needed to complete the rest of this build. Wood being pretty much the limiting factor at this moment. So we're just going to start carpet cleaning as much wood as possible. And I think I'm just going to start growing more wood over here. It's like we got more. No, we don't have too many birch. We have more maples, huh? Okay, plant the maples. Got oaks. Not too many. Four more. All right. Yeah, we have a whole thing for birch trees here, but they're just not planting. But that's fine. I have no problem putting up more stuff. But yeah, so far so good. We're trying to get to crossbows too right now. We're we're making good progress, but we need a little bit more. Yeah, we need 10 of the advanced research books, which we got up in the last video, but it doesn't look like people have had time to use it. I'm going to get blind prioritizing this for a little bit. Get 10 books and we're in good shape. Nice, he's pretty fast at that. That's great. Libraries really actually didn't need to be more than one story, so that's good. Feel like um, a thousand may have been too many. Yeah, let's put these down a little bit. Make sure that we can get everything going. Cool. I'm gonna leave him to it. He should have that done in a bit. We got a huge harvest. I'm really glad that the cellars are pretty much in fantastic shape now. I got clay bricks, thermal insulation is pretty good. 47 temperature. We, we didn't get ice blocks, unfortunately. So what you do is you place these bad boys outside and in the winter when it's 20 degrees, you make a bunch of ice blocks. And then we have specialized areas down here in the corner where ice blocks can be. We also need to like figure out if we get, I bet you at some point we'll be able to make manure with the rotting stuff, but it is what it is. We've got a lot going on, we've got a lot going for us. So open we can figure out how to make the grand hall i've done it like i said i've done it before but i'm gonna try i know i'm gonna try making it really small even though i know it needs to be big but i don't know what else to do done everything large tables six chairs or stools eight wall banners decorative shield rack or weapon rack at least four torch or wall torches yep done it all but you can see we got a pretty elaborate base <laughs> There's a lot going on down there, and it's pretty dope. It's one of the nice things about the building overview. But the religious buildings are... All, one's done, the other one's almost done. And, I mean, after that, it's... We just gotta get the castle up. I think I'm gonna leave everything as is. Um, I don't think we're gonna hit 16 pop. I don't think it's necessary. And we're gonna use clay roofing on the rest of this. I'm just going to build it up. And we're going to actually remove these staircases. There's there's really no point in doing a third story. I do like that it kind of overhangs over the, the balcony though. That's cool. Yeah, we got a little bit of an overhang. That's cool. So that'll be done. The library, um, we'll definitely want to get to two stories and then tie off just so it looks nice and uh, makes sense. But for the most part... We're in super good shape. Except for the settlers who were exhausted. They can they can rest later. Travoltas. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. The uh, reinforced doors are super, super awesome. I feel like I definitely need more of these too, so that when winter comes around, we're just stacked. And one thing I will say is all the enemies we've been slaying have really just made getting equipment for everybody super easy. All right, cool. We're getting back to work. Got our backgammon room. The only entertainment these people have. Feel sorry for them. Um, we did get... Yeah, beekeeping might actually be a smart one to do. Because so we can make uh, meads and stuff and chandelier candle wax. Okay, I think if we keep it near the crops, it might actually help with the crops too. I mean, it would make sense if it did. 
It, could, it might not, though. So let's just do three of those. Might also get stung by bees for all I know. Live and learn. Got our t two Holland dogs. I need more. Yeah, yeah. So the fish do randomly spawn after after winter. So you can make artificial harbors and lakes like this and have them full of fishing. And fishing doesn't require anything except for you just to click on it and hit fish. Then you get 12 fish. Now, I don't need it, so I'm not going to do it, but it's exceptionally useful in the winter when you need food. Alright. Yeah, we're we're doing ridiculously well. It's actually amazing how little space you really do need for a lot of this stuff. thought I needed a lot more space, and I don't. Alright. And on this side, same thing, except, uh, yeah, I am going to need to do the stone accents, but I just need to make sure that it's not the different types of material causing the issue. That's my theory, is it didn't like the fact that I had stone and wood. There we go, we'll get some more ice going. Yeah, when the apple trees are done, they cut them down, but you get a new sapling, and then they regrow. But the apple the apple trees will sometimes plant apple trees near them, so it just naturally kind of grows. It's actually better to do this in a square. has a higher chance. I'm just doing it in strips because I wanted the uh, aesthetic. But it's not an optimal way to get... It's definitely not the optimal way to get them to grow. But it is cool. It looks cool. All right. We got a bunch of wood. All right, that's awesome. More than enough wood. I'm not really interested in trading at the moment because they'll never buy any of the armors or anything. We need a war room. And we'll definitely put... I think I'm just going to turn the whole upper area into just a giant war room, to be honest. Uh, I have no other need for anything. And I definitely think I should start uh, placing the accents correctly. Yeah, so it may just not be working. I know I've gotten it to work in the past, but it should have worked down here, and it's just not. That's okay. And maybe it's saying a medium stone table, but in reality, you actually need the tier 3 quality table and, it, and quality chairs. Maybe it's just not telling us that. But, um, yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it's just the spare it's the spare meeting room where you can just look at the only thing that matters. But I am going to remove these and put up the nice ones. And I think my goal was that there's no staircase up from here. Oopsie daisy. It's just a um, empty room. I might be able to put something in there later, but... Oh yeah, I don't... Yeah, there we go. And I don't remember if there's anything in the way there, so it's going to look weird. There's an object behind it. But I was thinking about the only way to access it I want is from the second story. Okay. So now we've got all these bad boys going. And yeah, I was going to have, you know, the castle needs to be three stories, but I'm going to do something a little different for the top, I think. Uh, there's really not too much to do. Uh, or like, I don't need anything else. So it's kind of, kind of awkward. There aren't too many other buildings that you need. All right. And yeah, we're going to need pretty substantial stuff going on here. be a war room. 
I guess it really doesn't matter if you're too much there. Except for here. That will be the staircase up. And I think for up here, it's just gonna be. Hmm. I guess I do need the wooden floor. Did that side last? Okay. We want it to tower over everybody, that's for sure. But how much do we care? That is a second question. Um. I think I think the towers could easily look kind of like that. But they will be limestone blocks. I'll go upstairs. All right. And then Merlins. Yeah, I like that. And then probably just do wood Merlins for the rest of it. A little bit of a contrast. Look at that. We're living, we're living large now. It's not gonna have any. Oh yeah, I do need a, I do need a, a door in there. I'll, I'll deal with things as they come along. Oh god, no! Did not want me to do limestone there. I should probably let it build out because sometimes things don't go the way you think and then you have to destroy something and then something falls. And uh, it's not pretty. Yep, yeah, one way up. And uh, with the staircase, we can have quite a bit. With this staircase, we can have a couple of people in. That was weird. I had an error. In this one, there's only one way up, so we, they, we can have me melee people here, and we have archers pretty much throughout here. So, the central castle, basically, I can move my men to shoot in any direction. So, if they ever break through and are able to swim in or anything like that, we can retreat back to the center castle. And easily defend it. That's kind of the thing I'm talking about, is I only want one way in so that I can easily defend it. All right. We just have to let them build it out now. Alright, now we got everything going. We just need to let them build it out. But it, yeah, being able to fall back to this point and hit anywhere in the base is going to be pretty dope. We gotta get the screenshot mode on this. Doesn't show what's going to be built, but when this thing is up, it's going to look rad. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool screenshot with the, the rain and everything. Cool, we got the religious buildings up. Everything's great. I think we probably need to get a little bit more limestone. I don't know if it's necessary, but... Oh, we got big piles right there, 310. I think I'm gonna hit these little guys. Just the ones with limestone, because that's quite a bit. Send my attack dog out here to go get that limestone. I actually kind of like the big open area. I'm probably not going to do one of these little huts like I did over here. I just did that originally because it uh, worked. It was trying to mess with the thermals. Oh, jeez. Yeah, something fell over there. <laughs> Yeah, we just need a ton of everything at this point. So we just gotta let them keep working. The amount of food we have, though, is, is pretty insane. 3,100 beets and apples. Apples are probably my favorite because they just grow, and you just have to plant them once. And you get the uh, apple sapling back at the end of the five-year... I think it's like about a five-year growth process for the tree. 
they pretty much are immortal. Uh, and hopefully we start growing more. You can see there's one at, like I said, they will randomly spawn trees next to them. So it's better to do this in squares, but you know, I didn't do it in a square. But anytime I see a tree that's spawning outside the zone, I cut it down so it becomes part of the process again. There's a lot of good trees. But yeah, this is starting to come together. Starting to look pretty decent. And we're getting a bunch of limestone. Finish off the rest of the walls. It's crazy. Yeah, I haven't had a single new uh, vault person. I turned down two people. I haven't had anybody since. Oh man, look at the pike. Those are 40 meat each. Pretty crazy. I haven't had a fish yet though. I just I just eat berries. All right, yeah, crossbow, crossbow two is what I'm going for, but we need a little bit more research. Steel would probably be a good one. Um, I don't really have too many needs because my defenses are just pretty, pretty awesome. Crossbows though, would probably put me way over the, the edge of this place being pretty sweet. All right, we got a bunch of people over there. But primarily, yeah, just building that out. Need to get the thatch roof up on... Or this is a clay roof, yeah. Yep. I don't think we have... Yeah, we have 1,200 clay. Ton of limestone brick. So, shouldn't have any problem finishing this. Got ourselves a fort. But yeah, these towers can shoot down into these, these towers over here. Kind of the idea. Have your back towers higher than the walls in case the enemy takes the walls and uses your defense against them. These don't look too much taller though. But yeah, we do have we do have the advantage point. Always make sure that the center of your base can attack any place in your base. That's how I design stuff. Um, I mean, they could, technically they could hide behind this brick building though, so this would be a weak point. Well, I'm gonna let them build this out. Um, it's kind of like watching paint dry. And then at the beginning of the next episode, this whole thing's going to be complete. And we're going to continue getting the extra areas. And then we'll just kind of start sprucing the place up, making it look nice. And I mean, we're getting close to the final episode for sure. But I definitely want to continue. This is fun. I put a lot of energy into this. So definitely want to continue it to like completion. Want to make sure we have farms up for everything and I want to make it look as nice as possible, but we're, we're right now we're in the build-up phase, and then that will be called the beautification phase, even though we've slightly gotten some of the work done, as you can see. But I would like to get a little bit better pathing. It might even be nice to, I don't know, make make some uh, clean some of this stuff up and make it look cooler. There's a lot we can do with this build. I mean, the series can go on as long as it needs to. It's it's got a lot going for it. It would be I would like to get everybody like in full plate. We'll see how reasonable that is. It would be I want to see what crossbows are like. Um, looks like Ted does not have a bow, which scares me. What's going on down here, my friends? Oh yes, we don't have long bows. Here we go. Until you have uh, fifteen. There we go. And we're holding off on making crossbows until we can make the 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 better crossbows. I want to make the best crossbow, not the little tiny one. It doesn't do as well as you think. I just need to make sure no one gets trapped in the walls. That's the second thing. Yeah, we'll turn this into a, a mighty war room. We're just going to have weapon racks out the wazoo. But I don't want to take away from the wood. Right now we just don't have enough wood for that. That'll be the second thing we do. I want to get the castle. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>